if you are not a man of prayer you are not a woman of prayer you can be sure that the reality of communion and fellowship with the holy ghost that reality you see let me tell you something if you are not open to prayer you will never understand what we are saying you would think it's just um i'm not just talking of corporate prayer corporate prayer is great but you must have the secret place that's where he comes to meet with you that's when he tells you things he cannot tell any other person the reason why you don't hear god is because you are not used to his voice in the secret place he has not trained you to hear him so you hear everything and you call it him i was counseling a couple some i think i don't know if it was last week and um the mother was outside and the father came in with the daughters maybe they are even here listening to me and they held a little baby as soon as the baby shouted from outside the mother identified the voice and came to check what was happening with the baby and i said koinonia that's intimacy because there is a union that baby is sucking from the same mother their interaction the mother did not train herself to hear the voice she was implicated by that koinonia so anywhere she, there were many people families with their children but when she had her own he said my sheep hear my voice my sheep hear my voice meaning if you cannot ask hear his voice find out whether you are his sheep or not don't assume you are his sheep assumption is costly in the school of intimacy you must verify that there is contact between you and god there are pastors that don't pray so they get angry they think the manifestation of the power of god is magic there are dimensions impartation will not give you you must dig your well by yourself you must create an altar a system you must gain mastery in the realm of the spirit you must be used to the spiritual communication that has been act is is like a tailor-made system of god reaching you god must know how to reach you on serious informations god must know how to reach you on trivial informations he must train your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit that place of training is the secret place i will never trade anything for my time with him that's where men are built that's where there is an exchange see let me tell you holding a mic and teaching is not difficult holding a mic and preaching is not difficult but communicating life that one is a derivative of your altar that's why we sleep in church that's why our churches are full of dry bones from the preacher to those listening all dry bones people stand and talk they say something that should bless you and you wonder why it doesn't bless you because there's no altar they are standing unassisted by the realm of the spirit number two quickly why do we need the altar of prayer prayer creates a legal platform for god prayer creates a legal platform for god angels and the spirit realm to gain entrance and access prayer creates a legal platform mark the word legal it has to be legal the realm of the spirit is a legal realm the dealings of god with men are on legal grounds that's why god could not just pronounce men justified the system had to be followed to the latter prayer creates a legal platform for god angels and the spirit realm to gain entrance or access and intervene in the affairs of men and offer assistance to men whichever you want to write a platform for entrance legally i know that many of you are surprised why should god almighty need the cooperation of a man to step into the realm he limited himself in the creation of man let me show you two scriptures that i think will bless you psalms 115 verse 16 it's a popular scripture in the body of christ psalms 115 and verse 16 then give us ezekiel 22 
from verse 30 to 31 psalms 115 verse 116 can we read it together one to read the heaven even the heavens other versions say the heaven of heavens are the lords read on but the earth as a territory has he given to where watch this let me give you a little explanation if if a jimmy has a house are we together and he decides to rent that house to me now it is true that it is still his house but does he have a right to just enter anytime again no even if he comes to that house although it is your house but there is a legal transaction that happened between me and you so even as the landlord you will still knock and i have a right to tell you you are disturbing my privacy and you will still go so god is still the lord of all creation but he carved out a domain of his kingdom apportioned it to man and it became scripturally incorrect for god to come to the earth without a man permitting him that's why the holy spirit had to move michael gabriel to come and ask for permission from mary before jesus entered her womb mary could not just see her womb no 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 it was a discussion this is what we want to do can your womb be available the word was the permission be it unto me i authorize you how shall these things be don't worry about the dynamics your womb will just don't be surprised when you find out your stomach is just protruding be it unto me and he had to go to joseph and say joseph you are about to see something strange in your wife now i know that is going to shock you but please 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 don't drive her there is a mystery she's carrying and joseph calm down look at how god had to go to the relevant people to ask for permission permission one by one while he was doing that he was breathing upon anna the prophetess to keep praying breathing on simeon in the temple to keep praying john the baptist who will baptize and ordain jesus his father wanted to play with redemption he thought he was just playing with a sacrifice an angel appears to him and says mr man your wife is going to have a child the name is john and he spoke one kind of nonsense and heaven said no 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 this guy would disallow us shut his mouth he's a priest meaning there is a grace for him to operate in that priestly office shut his mouth so that he will not say anything because words are padlocks and are keys it can disallow and allow reality so he said shut his mouth this this guy wants to spoil this thing we are doing and they shut his mouth not as wickedness as a strategy to make sure john arrives so that jesus will be commissioned when john was born they said what shall we name him the wife said john they said no we've not had this name then they went to the dumb father now mr man what was the last thing when you spoke with the angel what did you hear and he wrote on the book john is that a prayer and his mouth opened god said now you can say anything you want to say you have authorized heaven now watch this look how hard it is for god to find expression in the earth he must go around that's why i taught you about the gift of men god cannot be the author of death knowing how hard it is to find a man and find expression through him for 430 years god was busy preparing the man who will be a deliverer not if he promised abraham captivity for 400 years but even god became limited for 30 extra years until moses was trained are you blessed john the baptist found himself in the wilderness the requirement to ordain jesus he ate locusts and wild honey had sheep camel you know clothes and all of that and he came out and started baptizing baptized jesus christ and that was all and jesus began his ministry listen every time it looks like darkness is prevailing over your life it is not that god is limited it is because you have not understood that until heaven is authorized god can do nothing about it the heaven of heavens 
belong to the Lord the earth has he given to the sons of men Elijah knew this that everything under the heavens was within the jurisdiction of men and he didn't go to beg God he went and said I lock up because this cloud that brings rain is under the heavens so I lock it up and I put the key in my pocket listen to what he said there would not be rain except at my word but the Bible James Apostle James had a revelation of what he did he said don't think he just spoke grammar he went and locked himself and prayed earnestly he was a man of like passion but he allowed God Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 and 31 please quickly many of us have not been assisted by the spirit realm simply because we do not know that we have a role we have a role to creating the portal that grants us access to assistance and i search for a man among them listen who is talking here god to his prophet why will god be looking for men with over how many people at, at that time in the earth and it's still applicable to us today i sought for a man among them that should make up what a hedge a gap they have violated something they invoked a mystery that will force me now to punish them but in my kindness i'm searching for a man who can make me change my mind but i'm not finding any therefore don't blame me when your family remains poor it's not that i want satan to prevail there is something that happened in your family that lifted an altar of poverty and god keeps watching it ravage you for decades and god is saying i'm searching for a man who will rise up as an altar and cause me to act otherwise i was until i learned this i was surprised how god would just allow evil to happen like that and many people say ah, ah but god can't you arise he said when you pray ask me that my kingdom should come what what kind of thing is that ask me authorize me matthew 6 he was teaching them the beatitudes when you pray part of the content of your authorization should be that the kingdom come he said as i hear you say before my ears so will i do please leave it there i sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for what not just for an individual for the land that i should not destroy it but i found none so let's see what would happen in 31 pharaoh shall see them and shall be comforted over all his multitude even pharaoh and his army slain by the sword said the lord ezekiel 22 you're giving us a wrong scripture here that's what i gave you right ezekiel 22 30 31 please correct it and let's have it quickly media are we there please help help whoever is working we need some level of accuracy the scripture i'm looking for the scripture that therefore have i poured out that is what we just read therefore have i poured out my word indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way have i recompensed upon their heads in other words it looks like i'm the one punishing them but they cost it they cost it that means the darkness in your family regardless of what people are saying oh god my name is john we are still dying and god is saying don't look at me as a wicked person i while i'm i'm pathetic there is a legal system operating this operation and somebody must arise and become a alt an altar that activates something different and then you will now see my kindness listen God is not the one ruling this earth with the nonsense that is happening. 
there are manipulations that are sending strange incense and we are receiving assistances from strange spirits that are antichrist and they are helping to destroy the world but he must find a people that's why men are a serious business to God many of us act unassisted many pastors act unassisted the realm of the spirit is available to assist but until we call until we call pray in tongues for one minute and say lord i call you i call you into my life and into my situation i don't assume you are aware i authorize you Lord, if you don't step in, something will go wrong in my life. My family is in trouble. For 30 years, nobody has risen in my lineage. Something is wrong. Every year, someone is dying. Yet there are prophetic words over my family. I authorize you. I authorize you. Shabras katako sibaria sakato bashiba. Ten graduates, no one is employed. Ten ladies, no one married. All the men in the family are fed by all the women. I authorize you. I authorize you. Shabakoto sobakai. Everyone in my family fails when a miracle is about to come, another mystery kicks in. Everyone in my family must have a child out of wedlock. It happened to my grandmother. It happened to my mother. Now the devil wants it to happen to me. Shakato soto pesh kalabaratosia. Embre toka dose de keleka sosia. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Listen, let me tell you. I studied my life, I studied my lineage, I studied my family. And I saw things that I knew were not funny. I knew that those things were activations. And if I were to answer the call of God upon my life and prevail, something must happen. An altar gives life to a covenant. I saw things happening around my life, happening around my family. Let me tell you what most of us do. We identify what is wrong. Then we hope that a man of God will solve it for us. Yes, when you need a higher anointing, that's a different thing. But many of us just complain. Nothing is working in my life. My father graduates, my mother graduates, 10 of us in our family graduate. Nothing is working. It will continue like that because there is something making God look like a wicked person. I sought for a man in your family. It's not that he cannot convert everybody to become a Christian. I sought for a man who will raise an altar of righteousness that will allow me to do wonders. Wanting to deliver the nation of Israel from Egypt. Imagine how the heart of God bled when he saw the soldiers of Pharaoh weeping God's covenant people. Man, who is the man that I will send? In Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel stood before the dry bones. I thought God would say, bones, come back to life. He said, Ezekiel, you know this law of territory. I can't speak and it will just happen. So I will tell you, I will speak from heaven to you. Then you speak now in the earth. I prophesied as I was commanded. When God spoke, the bone did not move. When he prophesied as he commanded, all of a sudden there was a sound. Oh, God spoke to me in a vision 
I, I had that dream and God said it's over and you get up and just smile you are joking it will never be over it was over in the realm of the spirit what you do with that encounter is to stand up put that word and say I legislate I agree with you Lord my prayer and my dancing and my rejoicing is my agreement that's why we have many dreams that never come to pass you see 10 over 10 in the realm of the spirit you see zero in the physical you see a job in the realm of the spirit you see demotion in the physical God told you his intention in the realm of the spirit your carelessness aborted it in the physical take seriously what I'm saying the same way you see that somebody is about to be sick or to be destroyed in your family and you get up and just keep quiet and then the day something devastating happens you say hey I saw this thing that's a pain in the heart of God because he, he kept moving around your whole house by his spirit searching for who was alert enough to communicate to him that this is a plot from darkness when God did anything in the nation of Israel and did not tell the prophets they were angry read your Bible they say God hid this thing from me number three what is the third purpose of the altar of prayer the altar of prayer is God's authorized system for enforcing dominion God's authorized system for enforcing dominion and compliance God gave man dominion over creation it will take man exercising it and prayer is the authorized platform for enforcing dominion the Bible says we do not yet see all things under his feet so although God has said you will rise up as an international man of God but you will watch your life crumble to nonsense because before your arrival another altar had been raised and so it will take you enforcing dominion i may come from this family but i officially divorce myself from every nonsense that happened no the same way someone is born of a millionaire and all of a sudden the child starts enjoying the benefits even before being aware that is the implication are we together now a woman maybe for instance um having a particular biological disease maybe a hepatitis or something and give birth to an innocent child and they say that child also has hepatitis did the child ask for it no genetic conditioning is the same way what stopped your father stopped your mother you laughed at them and quarreled them he's still waiting for you because until it is destroyed listen let me tell you something about altars for as long as an altar is said it's alive the covenant will keep working that's the concept of priesthood priesthood is a system to keep altars alive so that covenants will remain in force so that certain dimensions will continue to operate There are many things that will not obey you until you force them to. There are many things in your life. Your destiny will not open up just because you think you should have a good life. That's a joke. It's a costly joke. You will not get a job just because you got first class. You will not be promoted just because you think you are due. Nothing is fair in this life everything that happens to you is what you force to happen through knowledge apostle life is so unfair to us in the family i sympathize with you but this is the wickedness in the world that we live in listen if you want to take your portion in this life you are going to take it by enforcing compliance your church will not grow just because you think you're a nice pastor 
being nice is not the seed for results the ability to exercise dominion are we together yes it takes prayer there are many people who don't pray they just get up and please come you just see someone and and he say pastor pray for me and your ego is on the line and you know that you have not sustained power with god no altar of prayer and you just believe you just lay your hand and you lay your hands in the name of jesus the bible says yes it said yes the bible said but it takes your life to activate that reality the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick god said it i believe it it settles it you are a joker you are a big joker no it doesn't settle it no it doesn't settle it there is a dynamic to manifestation let's not mock ourselves and you try to pray for this person and all of a sudden number one he's not healed number two it backfires on you are we together now all of a sudden you find out that the same thing you try to pray for him for the tragedies and calamities in his life you brought yourself through ignorance and the whole thing backfired on you we are walking in an environment that is surrounded with altars they give you a job and you enter the company you are not the ceo you are walking there you don't know what spiritual backings have been invoked over that environment until you create your own climate you will be a victim of the default climate there are people who fraternize with the devil i will employ people to work for me but they will never rise above me so if the man goes down everybody will go down to still keep him above them because it's a covenant now you got a job fresh from the university your blood is hot everybody dances around church you carry your certificate and all of a sudden you are earning three hundred thousand but you cannot bring out ten thousand you are not a drunkard you don't pursue women you don't know what happened an altar swallows up that thing that's what i'm telling you what has happened to many of our parents so we think the solution is promotion oh god promote me then your salary is now four hundred thousand. the effect is still the same but a woman who went to a man of god and is joining a little prayer group in her ignorance is flying akara somewhere in the junction and with that akara she trains seven children in school it's not akara she was assisted by the realm of the spirit no sir you don't train children with with frying a car there you can come and meet that woman and beg her for a loan of hundred thousand and she will laugh she will say i'm coming she will enter the room and bring it out yet you claim that you are doing a white collar job and the altar fights you listen please pay attention to what i'm telling you whenever you prevail in the realm of the spirit an altar prevailed believe what I'm telling you Zaria has an altar the effects of the altar in Zaria is predictable you see it in the civilization of the people you see it in what happens to people the marginalizations that people never rise to certain dimensions you came to Zaria and just thought it's all about going to church no you create your climate you create your climate that's why it says yeah though i walk though i walk through a valley that has the shadow of death i fear no evil because i carry another climate thy rod and thy staff they comfort me so you are in a place where people cannot live up to 40 years you know you are aware in your village you've seen people dying like chickens but you come with another order you understand that the altar of prayer is also an altar that can contend with everything and you are enjoying long life you are enjoying grace the person who married earliest in your family was 45 are we together and you look and you say no you get married then you must spend five or ten years to have your first child if you sit down and keep watching it and don't cry for assistance and don't force compliance it will never work 
I watch people and my heart bleeds at their perception of God which is based on their consistent sufferings they conclude that God is not a merciful God but he said I sought for a man that through the altar of prayer you can nullify certain activities legal ordinances that have been erected to speak you will be dreaming to believe there's nothing speaking against you now no sir you have lived too long to have created one by mistake you have lived too long on earth if you are up to one years old welcome to the reality of this life there has to be something speaking the bible says the sin of disobedience is like what witchcraft witchcraft what is the operation of witchcraft so we all want to rise it's a year of triumph and there is you think that the whole thing is your grandfather or grandmother and the day you hear that they are dead you rejoice the priesthood died but the altar is still alive you see that and the altar is fine and good doing well that's why you find out the solution is not just to kill people around the solution is through spiritual intelligence to lift up a spiritual fortification that vetoes everything brothers and sisters you will leave heaven on earth all of a sudden they will watch you ah, you've been in Zamfara for three years but you are returning as if you're in the UK you can fly to UK with that altar it will wait for you at Heathrow Airport as soon as you are landing you enter and all the doors close people who never knew you are still manipulated by that altar to work against you and you thought it's just something in Nigeria and at the end of it you come back after five years looking like a thief where have you been UK are you sure yes why are you like this you know the way life is people smuggle their way and pass through rivers and deserts all to go to Germany and UK whereas they think that's the greener pasture the greener pasture is the altar you raise that speak that speak that speak until Jesus came there was a universal altar speaking against man vengeance vengeance but when Jesus came he established another altar that spoke better promises better things I cannot live walking and living my life to chance and hoping that things will be all right I know things will not be all right if they will be all right you must create it you must create it so I enforce compliance will the devil leave you because he thinks God anointed you no no Satan is not that cheap you are going to contend that's why he said put on the whole armor put on the whole armor there is a devil somewhere that will destroy your life destroy your ministry destroy your business destroy your destiny you get married to a very lovely wife you loved her with all your heart they ask both of you will you love yourself you say yes the moment you married everybody brought their altars in holy matrimony now you are nice people this altar was designed to scatter the finances of whoever is standing with you and all of a sudden a good woman but you find out that your entire life starts going down and if you meet a a prophet who is not sound in scripture he will tell you your wife is the reason for your failure based on prophetic insight he has seen that there is an altar associated with her it's not a lie that is responsible for that downfall the individual may be the nicest person in the world but the altar will not change please hear what i'm teaching you 